The final two days of the Savior's mortal ministry prior to His crucifixion are profoundly unimportant and in some ways beyond comprehension. He took bread, broke it, prayed over it, and passed it to His disciples, saying, This is my body, which was given for you. This do in remembrance of me. The Savior subsequently accomplished the Atonement. He took upon Himself the burden of the sins of mankind and the horrors that Satan could inflict. This ultimately culminated in Christ's triumphant resurrection on Easter Sunday. Christ fulfilled His sacred mission as Savior and Redeemer. As we ponder what it means to be Christians today, think about what our path of discipleship will require of us. The Savior's charge to His disciples to love one another and the dramatic and powerful way He taught this principle at the Last Supper is one of the most poignant and beautiful episodes from the last days of His mortal life. He was not teaching a simple class in ethical behavior. This was the Son of God pleading with His apostles and all disciples who would come after them to remember and follow this most central of His teachings. How we relate and interact with each other is a measure of our willingness to follow Jesus Christ. As His disciples, there will be times when we will be tried and persecuted unjustly and mocked unfairly and face temporal and spiritual storms of a magnitude that will seem unbearable to us and experience bitter cups that we pray would pass from us. No one is exempt from the storms of life. We rejoice in all the Savior has done for us. He has made it possible for each of us to gain our salvation and exaltation. I bear my apostolic witness that Jesus Christ lives and is the Savior and Redeemer of the world. He has provided the pathway to true happiness. Of this I testify in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.